hey guys welcome to a tech device today in this video i'm gonna show you guys a very cool rom called aosp extended rom this rom is based on google's pixel experience rom and this rom make that already very nice google pixel experience rom even better so i'll tell you what difference and what advanced feature in this rom we get so first of all let me just show you the app drawer we get app drawer as usual in a pixel rom and this is the drop down menu we see one good thing about this rom is that there's a button available on the lower end of this drop down menu if you see this second from the left once you click this button you will see all the running apps and how much ram all these apps are using the thing which I liked about this UI is that it's very intuitive. It differentiates very nicely about which area of this ROM is using how much amount of RAM. For example, if you see on the top, system is using 1.6 GB of RAM which is clearly displayed on the in the black color. And blue color is showing the RAM which is being used by apps and light gray color is the free RAM. So if you see every app which is currently using how much RAM is displayed in this UI so I kind of like this UI so let's show you guys what else in this ROM which makes this ROM so better so let me go to settings and first let me show you guys this ROM is based on Android version 9 and if you see it is AOSP extended ROM and obviously this is based on Android Pi. Now let me just show you guys the setting menu and what else we get in this ROM. And if you go to settings and you see there is a new option called extensions. Once you go to these extensions, you see there are many customization available for each and every area of this ROM. For example, the status bar. If you open the status bar, there is every item available and you can customize each and everything if you go back you see notification panel also you can customize and this way you can customize each and every screen on this ROM so this makes this ROM very nice apart from that this ROM perform very nicely it is even better than the pixel experience ROM one more very nice thing available in this ROM is that this ROM adapts the UI based on the color of your wallpaper so for example i'm currently using a dark wallpaper that is why it is showing me all the dark theme in the settings menu each and every part of this room will be displayed in dark mode and if i go ahead and change it to a light wallpaper let me just do it for you guys if i change a light wallpaper for example maybe this one if i set this wallpaper as a screen wallpaper and now if I go to settings, you see the color of the setting menu also changes. So this is a very nice feature which I liked really really very much. It changes the color of your system based on the wallpaper you have applied on your phone. So these are the very cool things available in this ROM. And to apply this ROM, it's very easy process. It is as simple as flashing any file using TWRP recovery or any recovery. So. If you guys like this ROM, go ahead in the description box below and download the AOSP extended ROM from the links given. And also you can download the GApp, flash those both files using any recovery and you should be good to go. So let me just demonstrate the part how you can flash those files. First you have to put your phone into recovery mode. I'll just put my phone into recovery. So once you're in recovery, just hit wipe, advanced wipe. Just select Dalvik, system, cache, and data. Select these four options and swipe to wipe. It will take a couple of seconds and our data is wiped out. Now again, go back to home menu, click on install, and navigate to the folder in which you have placed your both files. And select the USB extender ROM file and swipe. It will take around four to five minutes and our AUSP extender ROM will be installed on our Redmi Note 6 Pro. Mm. 
that's it our ROM has been installed now now we'll one more time go to home page go to install and select the GFs whatever file you have loaded on your phone select that file and swipe to flash it will take I guess 5 to 10 minutes to flash all the GFs and once this file is also flashed we'll reboot our phone so let's wait for GFs to get installed that's it our G apps are also installed now we are all set to reboot our phone and we'll go to home menu click on reboot system and do not install and as we know this is our first boot so it might take some time so I'm using this ROM for a couple of days now and I have not faced any issue so far I hope you guys will like this ROM. I'll put a link in the description box below for the developers page. You can go ahead and refer that page as well for any information you need. And if you want to know any information about this ROM, just let me know in the comments box below. I'll try to help you out as much as possible. So let's set up everything quickly. I'll skip everything for now just to make the process a bit faster. That's it. Our room has been installed successfully with the verb GFs. So you can do whatever customization you want based on what suits you and make this room better for you. So I hope you guys like this video as well as this room. And if you do, do hit like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much. See you in the next. Bye bye.